Hi guys, I'm Jack. I'm here with Garrett at PowerPack and we're going to be talking about the different gas monitors that we have here. So what are the two models we have here? So what we have here at PowerPack is the Honeywell uh, Max XT, that's this one here, mm -hmm. and this one is the Honeywell Micro Clip. Okay, so what's the difference between the two of them? So the primary difference between these two, apart from the size obviously, is that this one is diffusion only and this one both has a diffusion option and has an internal pump. Great, so both are diffusion monitors. Um, what does that mean? So a diffusion monitor means that it's constantly testing the air. So say for the micro clip, this is designed to be worn by your workers as they're entering an area where they'll need to have these in here. They'll be worn close to their face so that it's monitoring the air that they're breathing in. The, uh, the Max XT also has a diffusion monitor here on the front when you take this piece off. Great, and where would these be needed? So these are going to be used in confined spaces, somewhere where your people are able to work, but it's difficult for them to move around, it's difficult to get in and get out, just confined spaces, something like a sewer or a sewage plant. Great, and I understand these test for four types of gas. What are the four gases? Yes, so those four types of gases would be hydrogen sulfide, which is indicative of organic waste. It's also going to test for uh, carbon monoxide, which is a poisonous gas. It's also going to test for oxygen levels, so high or low. If the oxygen level is too low, your guys aren't going to be able to breathe. If the oxygen level is too high, it could potentially be combustible. It's also going to test for combustible gases such as methane, and it's going to test them at the lowest explosive level. So the minimal amount of those gases that is necessary to cause an explosion, that's what it's testing for. And alerting you, tell us about the alarms with these. So it ha alerts you in three different ways. So there's a visual alarm as the lights start flashing, there's an auditory alarm as the alarm starts blaring, and the monitors will vibrate. Okay, um, what about the pre-test process that goes into this? So when you're go sending your men into a confined space, you're going to want to pre-test it. Now the way you do that is by taking the Honeywell Max XT, and as we discussed earlier, it has an internal pump. So let's say you're going to send your men down into a sewer. You take the manhole off. You want to test the gases down there before you send your men down. Now, the way you do that is by attaching this hose, which comes with the Max XT. Attach it to the pump and then drop it all the way to the bottom, drop the hose all the way to the bottom of the sewer. You want to test the gases all the way at the bottom. You want to allow the gas and the air time to su be sucked up through the pump and then bring it up four feet. Right? And then continue to escalate four feet and allow the pump time to check all those areas every four feet until you've come completely out of that confined space. The reason you do that is because different gases are, have different weights to them, so something that's down at three feet might not be at six feet. Right. Great. And how should these be maintained? So the way you want to maintain them is by conducting a bump check at the beginning of every work day. Now these also need to be calibrated every 180 days, which is a service that we provide here at PowerPack Civil and Safety. Great. Well, Garrett, thank you so much for all this information and hope you guys enjoy. Stay safe out there. <laughs> Stay safe out there. Stay safe. Stay safe with Power Pack Civil and Safety.